हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स माई नेम इज़ बप्पी हामेद एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन अमेजिंग कोर्स विच इज़ नथिंग बट द कम्प्लीट सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार कोर्स ओके सो आई थिंक यू ऑल हैव हार्ड ऑफ अबाउट सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार सो आई थिंक यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन लाइक टेस्ला हैज देर लाइक ओन सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द लाइक ग्रेट एप्लीकेशन ओके विल फाइंड इन द फील्ड ऑफ कंप्यूटर विजन and this is going to be amazing because those uh, who are learning about computer vision concepts okay so this project is going to give you the motivation to learn more about the computer vision concepts okay uh, so here guys uh, uh, i think i don't have to explain more about the like what is self driving car and all about i think you already familiar with so let me tell you one thing about the self driving car so as of now what are the self driving car we have seen like uh, as a real world uh, you can say applications okay we are using like teslas or other uh, companies car okay so it has like advanced functionality so they are using like very advanced technology with their cars okay so in this project actually i can't teach like all the technologies like they are using because it's not possible for that actually you need a bigger team okay so for that actually you need mechanical engineering you need automobile engineering okay you need computer engineering like you need different different engineer okay uh, to build one actual self driving car but in this uh, course actually what i will do i will give you the actual concepts uh, like uh, about self driving car like how self driving uh, car idea came okay like how they thought like how uh, it can be work okay so this core idea i'm going to give you so basically uh, what i will do uh, first of all in this video i'm going to give you the overview like uh, what are the uh, things actually we are going to do throughout this entire course so then it actually then i think it would be very clear in your mind okay what we are going to do so uh, first of all what i will do i will uh, download one uh, self driving car simulator which is uh, like open source from udacity so if you don't know like udacity uh, provides this kinds of uh, like self driving car simulator so you can use this kinds of simulator okay to collect your training data so uh, why i'm going to download this udacity simulator because uh, using that actually i'm going to collect my training data okay because see uh, whenever uh, you are trying to build any kinds of ai applications you need a data okay and if i talk about like self driving car for that actually you need a environment okay like why actually you will be driving your car okay i will show you like whenever i will be collecting the data so it will be very much clear in your mind okay so here guys what we are going to do we will be using this uda city car simulator self driving car simulator and we'll be driving this car manually okay and uh, simultaneously we will be collecting the images of this environment here if you see uh, i'm driving this car manually and i'm collecting the images okay so here if you see it's recorded okay now so whenever you will be uh, like driving this car so image uh, would be automatically saved okay uh, so that's actually you can uh, collect your training data so once uh, we have uh, like end up with the data collection so you will have uh, like a lots of images like that okay so here we'll be using these are the images uh, for training our uh, self driving car model uh, so that actually uh, it would be able to learn like how to drive the car So guys, uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna take these images and we'll be applying like convolutional neural network for collecting the features. Uh, I think uh, if you are familiar with like convolutional neural network, so I think you know why uh, we need these kinds of features, okay? Because uh, like uh, whenever we are using image or videos, okay, uh, uh, we have to use convolutional neural network to extract the features, okay? Extract the features of the images, okay? So once we get the features, okay, uh, of that images, so what i will do uh, i will be uh, training one uh, deep neural network so here if you see this is one deep neural network and this is your actual image okay like uh, the collected features from the convolutional neural network so i'll be training this deep neural network and, and this deep neural network actually will try to predict this turning uh, wheel angle okay so basically what happens actually uh, if i show you one example so here you can see there uh, one example i have kept so this is uh, one uh, one of my like training example so here if you see the corresponding steering angle is like uh, minus 0.28 okay so that's actually whenever you will be driving the car okay so you will be using your arrow key okay from your keyboard so there actually will be uh, pressing these are the keys okay like uh, whenever i'll be driving the car so suppose if i want to uh, turn left okay if i want to turn right so at the time i will be pressing these are the keys okay so whenever you press this kinds of uh, you can say arrow keys okay so what happens actually uh, it provides some of the values okay so this value actually will be capturing okay Uh, so it would be automatically captured so whenever you'll be or like you can say driving this car uh, using the udacity car simulator uh, it would be like automatically saved in a csv file you don't have to worry about the steering angle so basically what uh, we are getting uh, we are getting the images with corresponding their steering angle okay so if we have this two information then what we can do uh, we can like train one neural network okay i think you know uh, so basically here uh, as a label uh, i have my steering angle like 
so this is the one image uh, so with respect to this image what was the steering angle of this car okay so basically uh, here you can consider uh, one person is like driving the car manually and it's tracking the you can say behavior of this person like how he is driving okay then whenever i'm like training my ai model uh, it's just trying so what it is doing it is just trying to learn like how that human was driving the car okay what was the steering angle okay in that position so basically we are cooling the behavior of a person okay so so we can also call this technique as behavior cloning okay so basically uh, if i talk about the actual self driving car so uh, there uh, if i talk about the actual environment so what happened actually there uh, there are like many things you need to consider like pedestrian then traffic lights okay uh, then uh, like if i talk about the actual road okay there you need to like consider many things okay to like you can say uh, move your self driving car right but here actually uh, we don't have any kinds of uh, like traffic light or pedestrian in this environment so we only have the road okay uh, with respect to that actually we'll be driving and we'll be collecting the images but if i talk about the actual uh, like uh, you can say uh, uh, environment or actual uh, roads there actually you need to consider many things okay for that actually you can improve this project suppose if you know object detection if you know image segmentation so you can like detect the pedestrian you can detect the traffic lights okay based on that actually you can make a decision like how you can move your car okay but uh, in this project actually, i will give you the root idea like how this concepts came okay like whenever they thought about the self-driving car okay so so guys uh, this is the actual concepts you can talk about like first they thought like if we can like drive a car and if we can like uh uh, collect the data okay collect the uh, in the data of the environment like like how one human is like driving the car okay what was the steering angle like if so if this road like that so how how much actually i need to move the steering angle okay so like that actually they're tracking okay all the data okay and they're uh, like uh, and they tried to train one uh, you can say a neural network model okay and they came up with the solution okay first of all then as per time goes okay they they, they started improving the self driving car okay and now it is like they have end up with like very uh, advanced self-driving car which you can see like tesla or others uh, like companies okay they are uh, manufacturing these are the cars okay so guys once we have trained our model uh with this data okay so it would be able to predict this training angle of that uh you can say uh road okay of that uh environment okay of the car then what i need to do i need to test this car in a completely new environment okay so for that so for that actually uda city already has uh, one uh, autonomous mode here if you see so we'll be running our card in autonomous mode and we'll be using the second track here if you see this is the second track and we'll be testing our card in um, so we here we'll be testing our uh car okay we'll be testing our model like uh, whether it's performing well or not okay so guys here if you see uh this car is like uh okay uh, it's like driving autonomously okay after tr like training the model here uh, i'm testing my model here so it's like see uh, it's driving the car like automatically okay here i'm not like doing anything okay so and here if you see this is a completely new environment and still it's a new environment but here if you see your car, car is like uh, trying to uh, like manage everything okay in a good way okay so guys uh, that's how actually it works i think you got the overview of our complete course okay like what we are gonna do so basically here we'll be performing like so many tasks and uh, I think uh, this course is uh, going to be a little bit bigger so you just stay with me and uh, let's uh, complete this course and after that actually you will feel like okay uh, you have like more confidence in the field of computer vision okay and you will get a lots of interest okay from these projects like here actually we are going to uh, build your first uh, driving car okay so yes guys if you have like this course just try to subscribe to my channel okay uh, so that i can bring up a uh, new new uh, course like that okay so that uh, i can motivate you okay uh, during your learning phase and it will help you a lot guys just trust me uh, just try to share this video as much as you can okay so yes guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time